fresh faces going. And right away, this one's going to hit the ground Ooh. running. Big one to try their hand. A fast B play. In they come and down they go. The round is over. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, Ooh, yeah. That okay. one was really quick. <laughs> right. Hugo, welcome. Welcome. How you doing? Uh, I'm doing great, Harry. Yeah, we have bangers all day, right? A new group, fresh faces. Uh, you know, everyone's just been swimming around in the pool, catching that Malta sun, getting ready to go. And I'm excited to see who's going to be bringing the heat today for this matchup. I'm excited to hear, uh, see as well what we heard from Yanko. Some sources, some secret sources, uh, touting some preparations, some style changes for outsiders. We saw that, you know, once Flit, and, or, or more so once Norbert, brother in fame, got added to this team. We saw some faster rounds mixed in there with these really slow defaults that we know and love James for. And so I'm excited to see how they've developed that over the course uh, of this event and over the past couple months. Let's see. Right now, CT side, gonna, there's going to be a lot of waiting around for outsiders. And yeah. Big are doing the same. Hell yeah. Better standing around waiting, but that's good. Okay, would you rather catch Maltese Sun or Maltese Hands? <laughs> Probably Maltese son. Yeah, you picked right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Very I had threatening. a guy ready outside just in case you picked the latter option. All he was right. going to come in here and serve that up. Fresh knuckle sandwich. Someone tell Neil he's not needed anymore. <laughs> well, we were on the Hunger Games intro. But I ain't hungry for no hands. Big batter catch him eventually on catwalk. They got to go. No, they don't. Yeah, they don't do. be ridiculous, yeah, Hugo. They do. This is like a nature documentary, you know. Here and that's we the see the wild Germans. Oh, you sound like a Brian. Cox, I was, yeah, I was kind was of like, in the middle. Like there. him, I wasn't sure. but like trying to do David Attenborough. There are more Germans on Cat than anywhere else in the universe, <laughs> and here they come. Oh. And shooting star. There they go. Once again, a pretty abrupt ending to this one. The Glocks trying to run down Jane, and they will get him. All right, that's suddenly oh, something. My. It was something. Make for no mistake second. about it. For a moment, there was something going on there, but the plant denied. Would have been lovely for Big if they got a bomb down, a bomb plant in the uh, in the Glock round. They don't be crazy. No one gets bomb plants in a Glock round. Not unless four of you go A and I go B with bombs. <laughs> Not going to work on this map. Definitely not. Got that lifelong B uh, anchor ready for outsiders. And here we go into a gun round now with Big coming out with the scout on Sears, and he loves it. Always on a scope is this guy. However, didn't really adopt the Krieg meta, did Searson. Automatic rifle, that's just too easy for the guy. They're going to flash their way out lower just in case outsiders are aggressive, but come on. This is outsiders we're talking about. They're tucked back in their bomb site. Jame and Norbert at long. In smoke in. Excited to see Keto back in the server as well. Had a stint on yeah. the Academy League. Mate, if you saw those Academy League games, Keto was farming. It was unfair. He was like 30 to 10. Every game yeah. he played, it was he's clearly above that level. It would just cool be like it back. would be like suddenly having an adult ice hockey player in like the children's yeah, league. Exactly. You know, like yeah. it just it's not fair. It's like. not fair. It wasn't fair on those kids. <laughs> and so, you know, the uh, the cool thing about it, you know, he even said in the interview, two things. One, he kind of learned how stressful IGLing is. But yeah. two, he said it made him realize how good he is, right? And, <laughs> Confident and I know that's like, it sounds yeah. like a, it sounds like you could go weird flex. All right, mate. Like, come on yeah. now. But I think it's a much needed confidence boost for Keto. Just that reminder of, I do deserve to be here. I do deserve to be up at this level. And I'm going to show them all that. Well, let's see if they can show them in a gun round because right now it's only fame on that B site. Outside has got pulled out from out uh, of middle. They're going to have to boost up in CT spawn. That might be their only play. Flit looking for an angle over that smoke. Oh, fame gets cleared out the corner. Crimbo comes running and Flit can't find a frag. There's one. Favon caught running up mid. Sears is still stuck in middle, but he's got a scout. This is a bit awkward. He has to hit the headshot as they cross through, but on his contact, Tabson can make a play. They flash this and in. It's optimistic. Outsiders were so patient because they have Norbert on this big wrap. He's going all the way around, but they're still running out of time. Is this done? Yeah. 
they're, they're like they're going they're, for they're, it. They're sort poison, of. No, they're poisoning no, like yeah. they're gonna go for it, but it's nothing more than like a fake retake here. Damn. These are just paid actors in this one for outsiders, and instead, you know, they're hoping to do some economic damage, but everyone's just gonna hide at the car. Do you think they run in? Dude, it, that would be wild. They, they they're, figured they're it out. In. They're, they're figured going it in. Out. They're going to try and no kill everyone for this. the time. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. It's a massacre. James Too just dead. keeps doing it, man. He's always got ways to break your money. Even when you think, ha, 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 don't worry. They're holding for us. We'll save in B. Oh, no. They're coming to B. They retake after the round is over. Forget the round. We just want the money. We want to keep them on their, their last legs. A James-esque play in the first gun round. I'm excited to see Outsiders back. It is cool because, like, you know, I think even as the identity of Outsiders changed from the old squad to whatever it becomes with this new one, um, you know it's going to have, like, James' signature, very, very, like, different way of thinking about the game. You know, on on full display, even if it might not be as slow as uh, as the old outsiders used to be famed for. James is a man who plays the economy long game. True. Oh, Mr. Smoke. Not ideal. Not ideal. Not what we need, but maybe it's a fake out. Maybe it's all on purpose because Keto has already snuck past yeah. this. Probably not, though. Yeah, maybe. It definitely wasn't. Keto is outbid, however. Oh, Norbert spamming. Got a boost up on long boxes. Got a cat smoke from outside long. That's a cool idea. Bigger only faking it out. They wanted the mid to be. They've got the smokes down as well, but outsiders start to move in off of that B site. Fight them in the middle. It's only Keto right here. He's got to show what he learned from that lower level, from that lower league, because he's got a lot to do. Two players to creep past in the smoke. Flit turns around, the timing is immaculate. Flit still gets a kill. Fame in the side drops the bomb, and they come running into trade. They will. Three on three, fights in middle. Keto last bullet headshot, and he sure is stepping yes. up to the plate today. Three kills will win this round. Norba can do what he wants, but he's locked out of B. That was really nice. That was like full confidence Keto on display. You want another? I would love another. Oh, we're going to get another. Keto with four. Beautiful. A lovely round out of the guy. Yeah, I and think... look at it, man. Look, he even looks different. Like, look at his presence in the camera. You're really noticing Keto right now. I don't know if his chair's higher up or if he has just growing. You know, something very tall. He's yeah. taller than he's... I ever remember him exactly. being. Exactly. He's been eating his vegetables, Harry. He's like growing into a very tanky tall kind of guy Good for him. and just brimming with confidence yeah i think you know being demoted to an academy uh, academy it, team man. is That's... only going to you know it's going to do one or two things it's going to kill you like your confidence oh god am i not good enough or it's going to as he said remind him how good he is but also give you a a renewed perspective a reason to want to play better i want to be back in this main roster and he is Great motivating technique from the organization. Got Keto firing off. Right now, bigger contact, and they have, well, hate to break it to you, already won the round. There's two nades for outsiders. If they can get to spawn in time, they can dunk them on farm and get weird, but I don't think they'll be here in time. It's only one man here. Fame gets positioned behind the boxes, but bigger already committing. Yeah, Keto just going to tap him oh. out of the round. It's very, very clean. Keto diff. Watch now as big debate pulling the reverse Mao's NXT, where gradually they siphon everyone into the academy team to get this kind of confidence out of them. Well, they already bought a bunch of Sprout players, so, you know, they're basically, that was their second academy team. My favorite, like, development is just Sprout going international, and I, I, a big part of me does believe that that's just so big. Yeah. Stop poaching everyone <laughs> that they get. <laughs> oh, you're Danish. You speak German as well? Oh, no, sorry. We don't want you. Uh, oh, hello, Norbert. A couple of exits here. Yeah, make it expensive, at least. Hop back up for a second time. Ooh, Keita's trapped. Ooh, ooh, ha. Jumping up, Norbert gets the kill, and there's two guns here. But only one man to get them. Oh! oh no, but nice. just getting out of there with the AK. The big R in the lead. You know, might be some nice exit kills, some guns taken out of the round. The big are still the ones reaping the reward of putting an extra point on the tally.
find it so funny that this whole... Yeah, fair enough. Maybe later. All right, here we are. Searson running the gauntlet down through the middle. Jane not scoped up there. Will allow this AWP to make it deep and get posted. Tabson's Ooh. fighting for a bit oh. of control over at long, but he catches some nades for his troubles and will get out of there. Big if their eyes set on mid. They got down suicide very, very quickly, so they're all set up here in middle. And now they're up on the catwalk as well. No hinge smoke to accomplish this. Jame isn't peeking, so it's giving them a lot of room right now. Yeah, at one point, does he want to rotate back to A? Well, how many how many grenades is enough grenades to convince Jame? Keto's looking for this headshot angle again, but it's Kicker with a double dink to do him back. Nice kill, Jane catches them dropping the big try and fake it out. Oh, they will catch him in transition though. Moving into spawn, no smoke needed. They do it with their guns. Spawn cleared out, three on three. One man at B and that smoke will fade soon. They can line up an exec or they can just pump their way into this site. Fame's trying to get in cover. The molly is well timed, or maybe too early. Oh dear, into the smoke it goes, Fame. Now got to do it with his gun. 40 seconds, contact for big. Oh, Fame blowing out and, and losing the B anchor without him being able to go one for one. That really might seal the deal on the round. 2v3 retake, very, very tricky. Norbert's kind of far removed. He's got to sneak all the way down through mid. So by the time he gets here, this bomb's already like a quarter ticked. There's an AWP that's savable. It's all just too tempting to save, really, I think. And so that will be the decision made by the outsiders. They give up on this one. Big, a fourth T side round. This is starting to get a little out of hand. Outsiders, they might be getting away with some damage. They might be getting away with saved guns a hell of a lot. So they're always offering something up in these rounds. But none of that really matters if you're not able to capitalize, not able to get a couple. Yeah, these are good T rounds, right? Just faking out Outsiders a little bit. Even even when in that round, Outsiders have a, a good setup. Kicker gets this one for one. They drop, or the one for oh, they drop back into mid. Jane gets a 5v3, and they still flip it around. Very quick kills in response for Big. Definitely a missed Molotov for Fame. Like, two seconds later, and, and that's the perfect timing for a Molly. Big is still in the choke point. They might even have to send a player through it. He can spam the Molly. Uh, yeah, that, that you know, life of a Bianchi. You mess up one tiny detail, you lose the round, especially on a map like this. And this is a map that Big, as a team, as a core, have been trying to play for a lot for Jane. Even now, something new, something outsiders haven't seen. A quick long take. Flash Searson into the pit. He could wall bang Norb, but this is spammable with Norb. But does he want to fire off too soon? Hasn't seen anything. There's no reason to believe. James flashing fights. Okay. Ooh, lovely oh, lovely for James. Yeah, not the kind of peak that Searson was expecting out of this AWP oh. on the other side. Tabson will at least trade it. Don't know. Back to a four on four. They don't know about this second man still hidden behind the sight box. Flit's also available for a very, very fast long flank here, but he will decide to head down catwalk instead. Norbert, for now, only man inside of the site, has to put on oh, a bit of a show. Wrong way. So even though he's going to burn to death in the molly, taking two to the grave with him, more than enough here for Norbert. Fabin trying to break away into this bomb site, trying to break open those doors, but it's going to get left on a Tabson in the 1v3. Dealing with the first man makes it a little easier, but there is this kind of crossfire, two angles of elevation between Flit and Kicker, holding for this swing across, and on the smoke fade, Kicker makes quick work of him. So outsiders, there we go. It's a nice Ooh. round out of them there. Don't think they got the AWP at the end. They couldn't find it. Two AK save, but they should have the money. And yeah, nice reposition as well for Tabson to take pit immediately after Searson falls and just grab that orb. Quick repeat, Jane was not ready for anyone to be that wide after the shot. Still, outsiders get it done. I like that top side smoke as well, gives a bit of a one way for Fame to fight that headshot angle. Outsiders getting cheeky. 
you know, we do say uh, a lot. We we haven't seen anything new on Dust for a long time. Obviously, the changes came, and the, there were a couple of adjustments for CT sides especially. But by and large, the, the meta game, the strategy remains the same. One thing that I feel like we do see on Dust fairly often is new util. Uh, you know, every, every couple of months, there's a new smoke. And actually, to say it fairly, most of the new util does come from big on this map. Like, as said, they love playing it. God B has always nerded out smokes. Some of the most meta smokes we see today have come from God B, Taps, and, and the like uh, from the big side. So I've, I've already seen a couple of things. I saw Taps and throw a, a, a smoke from a site, like a weird lineup to land as a one-way on Cat. There's a couple of things here. Big are always keeping, uh, keeping something fresh. Fresh faced indeed they'll need to be on another A split into James Orb. Ooh. Yeah, this kind of aggro move from Norbert at the long doors. Nice change, right? Not something that big have seen yet. And he's gonna deal with both players that try to come that way. This gives Jame a little bit more freedom to back up and play retake for the A bomb site. <laughs> you can see Big are pretty nervous by this kind of <laughs> unique method they're using across with the bomb. It's a little slower, a little lower, but it keeps them out the eyes of that AWP on the long side. No flash. Yes, uh, oh. Looked like you wanted to fight for that. James, like, thank you for crouching into my crosshair, mate. That's made it very easy for me. Now Keto wrapping middle. He's been spotted. And suddenly, well, there we go. Wasn't really in a position to win the round was Keto. He needed his teammate on short to stay alive. And with that not happening, outsiders were very much destined to win that one. Yeah, Sisson, you know, the first crouch cross is to get past the AWP on the corner. The second one is him being very optimistic that Jame is either still long or in the pit, but he's on plat. So he's very high up. He can see that, that cross. Sisson was trying to get behind the big box. Uh, you know, bit of a cooked round for Big. They did the, the, the mid fake with the corridor smokes so that they hit the other round and left Keto there. It looks funny from James' perspective, but uh, no kill off of it. One for one, uh, you know, one player alone long taps and was too late there to help out. Yeah. And, and Big only had Cat to fall back to. So a very awkward round with no real estate in the A site. They never got a long kill, so it was never meant to be. Yemen Yeeks. Oh, yeah. With kind of two of the big hitters out of the round early, I don't see a world in which the Yerman Yeeks can turn this one around. But that's the thing about the Yerman Yeeks, Harry. They don't care what you think. They don't care what you expect. Okay. They only care for the shot of the head. Let's get it then. Yerman Yeeg, I summon thee. Oh, here they are, out in the middle. Krimbo with the first. Can't quite follow up, and everyone else is mowed down. <laughs> it's five for the outsiders. Okay, so I'm going to just say it. One yeah. thing that's making me a little bit nervous Go here on. is uh, Searson still yet to frag. Yeah. And uh, putting up real agent numbers here down bottom of the board. It's it's concerning. Searson, I mean, any AWPer is a huge part of their team, right? No AWPer can really afford to fall silent. But Searson is especially important within the big system. A lot of opening fights often found on the back of his AWP, right? Normally someone who can kind of crack open rounds for you by getting that opening pick. He's given a lot of responsibility and a lot of space to, uh, and kind of uh, respect to reflect that, right? And with him being 0-7... It, it, it's a very bad for sure. omen for Big. It's a bad omen academy, you nice. could say. Lol, there we go. What um, about that? You know, so um, hi, guys. Sis and Apologist here. Uh, in his defense, I agree with you. Uh, in his defense, they've not boosted him for a mid spawn. He's not had a long pick spawn. Uh, Jame has not fought deep mid apart from once. Uh, so, you know, it's early days, but I agree. He's he needs to start. A healthy amount. Yeah, he needs he to start. He still had opportunities. Yeah, I think it would be a lot easier if he was at home on 150 ping okay. and was constantly dipping out every right, three rounds. Yeah. That's his best bet. That's... He is good in it now. That's a, that's oh. a dated meme, Hugo. Ah, well, he got fiver. Well, that might be his problem. Right, fast down Ooh, through the catwalk. Real speedy on this. Oh. They're going to be going into a crossfire. Jane down in the lower tunnels. They want to hunt this. They want to trade that. And they don't know about Flit, who's also down here. It was a double lower push set up out of the Outsiders. And they've got no info about this second man. Favon on cap, mollied back. They're going to hear that tag. They know there's still someone here. Favon also has the bomb and is alone on this. 
So we really cannot afford to be a first point of contact. Wow. That's a must win fight and Favin somehow gets it over the line. And still oh. this flank and I mean, there's a nade to delete him. Fame finds that. The bomb now cut loose on the catwalk and for big things get real tough now. Yeah, they keep getting in a lot of awkward rounds where they don't have any util left in 3v3s. The flash is good, even though Flip was blind. He eventually sees Tabson and James catches that cross shot. Yeah, in, in all these 3vxs for big they they don't have any nades left they're planning on so many things going right and outsiders are surviving until uh, the the long haul till the end of the round so when you're stuck in in you know long on dust two with no flash or no smoke to cross of course you're getting wrecked jame is even getting audacious now drop lower off of spawn they run right by him and he backstabs them and still escapes with his life very impressive awp and again can't say the same for searson yet pistols for big Tech nines, Deagles, a Glock. Certainly not a perfect picture here for Big. They're gonna run it up Cat. Good grenade, does some damage early. Out long for two. Norbert, ooh, they're over the top. And now they're dropped. Both headshots for Norbert. Nades will follow from the site. Kicker gets out behind cover. And even though the flashes are really good, some of them even CT flashes blinding him. Ooh, tabs and full blind does get a trade. Maybe that's a plant, but how much more? Surely not much. Oh, missed Molly. They even had double HE. Double set up here on Shaw. Tabson wins the oh. first. Keo's Deagle now no arrives. Way. Two of his own from it. He's bloodthirsting on Catwalk. Norbert left in this one alone. Half the time ticked off this bomb. And Norbert with two kills to his name already. Smoke on the plant, but he doesn't know about the man at Gandalf. He's just going to get on it and try oh. to stick this. But Keto cleans up from the short side. That's five for big as the Yerman Yeeks find the round. Dude, Keto is just, oh, he's he's tall. Look, man, he's I'm muscular. telling you, sitting down, let's tap some pass that down the line. Okay, Sisson, or O and eight. What? We're waiting. Flashes out long. Molly smoked. I don't think they smoked. They had full on control, yeah, but like, just, just in, in case, case, right? Yeah, like, just I guess in one. case. Norbert's still giving Jane flashes to get set up. Talk of which, Searson's in pit. Just try the wall bang, man. Uh, yeah. Screw it. 0 and 8, not having Ooh. a good time. 6 ADR. Bit of a roughie. Doesn't want to tell them his orbs in pit. Good but Jane will become good hunting. Jane really wants to fight for this. Needs a reboost, though. There's no one here to do it. Oh my god, it's just a flash trade. No one's even peeking with this util. Everyone's throwing grenades. Outside is getting curious. Curiosity <laughs> killed the kids. Why did you say it like that? Uh, letters are hard. Lit. Ooh, they saw him. He still gets the kill. That's one for one. The molly lands from long by big. Out lower, fame won't last. Kicker, aggressive, drops the bomb with two, and big again, a trapped at long with nothing to show for it. Flash is good. Oh, James, if he fired blind, he would have hit that shot. Instead, it's time to try to kill everyone in this site. And now, Searson, time to shine. They're both low, but of course, he has the AWP. He's going to swap out. Searson on a rifle. Let's see. Oh, three bullets. Oh, no oh, bullets. No. And there's the swing out of Norbert. Oh. So here we go. Okay, now there's problems. Oh, you start to understand now, where I'm coming from. You can I'm just so you can just see sometimes, you know, sometimes players aren't super uncomfortable. Uh, sorry, aren't super comfortable looking when you watch them. And that's kind of the vibe I'm catching right now from Searson. You know, game one of the tournament, map one for these guys. So hopefully, uh, hopefully Searson kind of picks it up. Yes. I got faith he can recover. Scout out on an eco round. Big's last round was a pistol buy. Jane could die. Do it. Do it, Keto. He's got smoke down. He's on Xbox to cover him. He's going to get out before danger. Big look like they won't be in this round. Just off of the spawns. Corridor smoke's coming in. Meanwhile, before Big go, Keto's looking for a pick on Cat, but there's no one even close. James deep on long. Keto has no util to fake, so it's really relying on Big just popping their way into this B bomb site. And even then, they're not sure. Not yet. Tabs and faking nades. 
trying to get what little util is left on B. There's one molly for Fame. At least there's no smoke to stop it. That will be one in the front of the tunnel, but Fame can molly deep. Crimbo's really trying to fake this out as big of Reaper. Oh, back they're the happy. Hands. They're happy. They've got yeah. the mollies out. They're not actually going to look to go B with how this round's kind of shaping up. Will be the A play, so they're going into this orb. It's time for Jame. Right. Jane flashed, but does not depart the angle. Instead, he's going to bid farewell to Kito. More trying to cross here. Searson scout lands a tag. And nothing to write home about here. Jane forced off all the way back to long. Another tag from Searson on the scout. There we go. He's on the board. Searson with one. Could this be what was needed for Big to turn this one around? They've lost Tapson. Fabin falls. And now it is just Crimbo left over at the short side. Arms planted for him. He's got that going his way at least. Everyone's kind of tagged as well from these pistols, don't, but don't. yeah, every time he tries to swing this angle there, they're just going to be on him. They're on the bomb. They're holding down the angle. He cannot win this, and so he won't even try. It's eight for the outsiders as the defuse is held. They get out of it with the D. Surprised he doesn't just go for a fight there, right? Like take some money out. I guess his last couple of rounds of the half here keeps his Kevlar. But Big have a uh, lot of cash now after getting a bomb plant on the on an eco. Searson on the board, better late than never. Still not the round that Big wanted that to be. AWP going for a B spawn. Maybe can post tunnels quick. Just looks for it. Always the triple boost. If you want to get weird. Searson. Here's a flash, react, scopes up, sees nothing. Oh, he's about to get peeked though. His teammate might block the angle, he sees it, and he hits the shot. That might be the round, Harry, unless outsiders do something miraculous. Oh, that's good damage. Searson very, very low. Even flank through lower, two players here fast, but that's where Tabson tells Searson, don't peek. Oh, oh okay. but peek it, he shall. Peek it, he shall, eh, Tabson? Fabin and Tabson waiting for this cross. Weird. It's kind of odd. If they somehow get past, there's actually a 3v2 in the B site. Oh. They win that first fight, but they weren't ready for Favin here as well. And denying this rotate through the tunnels for the retake is huge for Big. Favin's won it by just holding down this angle. Norbert does not want to give this one a try. He's going to have to back on out of there. And so Big pick up a sixth with the B play. And this is why I say CSN is so important, especially here on Dust2, especially in the big system. You know, you kind of... Uh, the round was won on the back of one AWP shot connecting. Yeah. And sometimes Dust2 can boil down to rounds, you know, ending like that. So you really needed him to be putting up numbers. And at least now, across both these last rounds, he's been able to find some impact. Maybe that's a sign of things to come. Yeah, the reflash back in is a bit optimistic on 10 health. Like, you know you're going to just get sprayed yeah, but by least, an A1S. At least, like, you know, you have the confidence. caveat of, like, the double spawn yeah. layered setup. You weren't worried about them breaking through that and then retaking. You know, I think within the context of the moment, it may, you know, it's fine. It's forgivable. Yeah, big had it on lock. I mean, he got the pick to get them in. And six rounds at the half, maybe even more for big as they try and grab another... Same spot for Searson. Same start for Big. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But they're going to need to go elsewhere to look for an opener. No way. But Fame offers up. Close tunnels frag. Ooh, he's looking for it, though. He sees the smoke over the top of the molly, rather. Oh, Fame. Don't jump out. Oh, he did with a flash. Just gets out alive. Keto again, has found himself a little bubble in mid. Hanging around in this pocket, waiting for a rotation, hoping that this util and this pressure towards B can force one. Outsiders are not falling for it, though. Kick out this nice off angle that will often get smoked off on the mid to B play. That's not where we're ending up. We have util over that A site. Keto does go wider in middle, dueling, dying. Big reset long. Not the right time for Keto to die. Could have cut off those B rotations. Now it is just Crimbo alone in the tunnels while Big try and pounce long. It's a three on one, but kick it, uh, sorry, Norbert can drop into pit after a kill. Oh, but he's been good in these kind of positions, though. First kill. Now that drop down in a pit that you talk about. Run out by Tabson. 
But James got long on lock. That's a convincing flick. And now Searson left in the 1v3. He's getting wrapped at long. He's got an AWP to fight on the cross. And James won't lend it if we were stuck in it perpetually. Always an option. If we were, if it were for that, Hugo said thank you. Big. Yeah, they've got a bit of a quiet Searson problem. Ooh. He wants to start loud and proud here. Well, this would be the time for him to get back into it, right? Still a winnable game, still achievable for Big, but I do think so much of it hinges on this CT AWP coming alive. Let's see if he's able to hit the ground running. Searson is in a more kind of aggro stance over towards Catwalk, and outsiders are trying to come up and visit him. Tabson won't let them near his precious on Cat. Flitz tapped out of the round. Fame will respond from lower. Searson doesn't want to get caught throwing away a path into this A bomb site, so he'll back up now. A big start to poise for an A hit. Outsiders have not made their mind up yet. Nothing's set in stone. Nothing's confirmed. They still have Kicker in the tunnels. He's going to get that spot on Keto at the back of B, and that might influence their decision making here. Yeah. Right? If he saw nothing, they might have been under the illusion. They forced a bit of a rotate. That spot went both ways, though, and so it's put a seed of doubt in the mind of Big. They're going to start to shuffle players back in the middle, leaving a one-man defense on either side of the map. And they pick kick it in mid, though, so they can even aggress on a flank. Searson can activate once they know it's say that timing. Oh, he turns around. Norbert gets that shot behind. Fame will finish the job. Up cat, they go for the plant, but look at this flank. If they don't get it down for long, Big can stop it right now. It is in cover, just about. Searson shows his hand, but he can't hit ahead. They're tucked in now on ramp. Flash goes over the top. Dodge. Searson missing shots. Tags is all he's got. Fathom will find a kill, but it's only one, and Keto and Searson fall in tandem. That was a weird weird wacky round where fame steps up big for outsiders i love that reposition they realize they're being fast flanked they duck into the ramp to let them fight with a flash and bigger just caught out on an island in the open yeah i gotta say one of the coolest things about seeing this outsiders squ uh, squad on like the other side of the player break knowing that they've had a bit more time to get acquainted with one another is i do think you know, in spite of the uh, the roster moves that they've undertaken, they've ended up with a really nice squad still, yeah. right? Some really good pieces. You've got Flit now able to kind of embrace the star role. There was always that question when him and Yakinda were in the squad about this idea of, well, Yakinda needs a lot of the space, a lot of the a lot of the good spots, and some of those got swapped up with Flit during their time in the roster together. You know, never really got to see Flit in like star star form. Oh. I don't know how Tabson wins that fight. No, I'm, trying even to, looking. I'm trying to have a little discussion, and because the USB got a kill, suddenly I have to start thinking the round right, could you be You can won. do whatever you but, want. Yeah, now it should just kind of go how it should go, and outsiders should win it. But uh, on top of that, you know, when Norbert and Fame were first brought in, obviously very, like, short notice originally, didn't have a lot of time to kind of gel the team together. Um, and I think and I think outsiders is probably one of the harder teams to just join and pick up because they really play, like, on on one of the extremities of Counter-Strike yeah. calling, right? So they're a bit different to any team that, you know, your, your Fames and Norberts have been in before. So I think that's why we didn't necessarily have, like, the, the biggest performances out of these guys, but it's very cool. Norbert's got a, a long old history under his belt, right? Playing for the last, I think it's like five years. Uh, I, I kind of first started liking this guy uh, in the server back in Windstriker, you know, course, like Simon yeah. Gaming kind of time period back then. Um, he, he used to be a very, very capable individual, one who could be a star of a team. And I think his problems more used to be like attitude based if ever there were any. Well, I think James and, uh, and you know, like Dastan and the likes are gonna be able to get that under control. Uh, I think for fame, it's super cool because he's like a young prospect who's kind of a blank slate. He can be whatever you need him to be, but we've definitely seen him put up big performances. And so as time goes on, I think this team's gonna get better and better. Yeah, one guy, you know, kind of, uh, uh, not massively related, but I'll talk about it anyway. One guy kind of uh, left on the sidelines is uh, in in the Russian scene is someone like Jerry. I, uh, you know, we obviously are big Jerry fans. We love to see Jerry. I've always wondered if we could end up getting this guy on a on an English speaking team. It's great English, very good mind for the game. Has brought up a lot of the players that we know and love, such as Flit. Right, he was under that Forza led Jerry uh, Jerry led Forza squad prior. To, uh, to joining this roster. Uh, you know, Jerry's been asked that before, and it seems like contracts always get in the way as they do.
Oh, man. Maybe Derry's, something for the future. Derry's played almost 2,000 maps with four. Two and 14 for Sis and still struggling. Need a response out of him here in this scout round. Ooh, does hit a tag up top. Xbox Smoke, but it's a long take. Three CTs late flashing their way into the fight. That smoke's weird. Norman's committed his team on. They're going to have to smoke that Molotov. Kicker will get a kill through the smoke onto the corner, Crimbo. And a Molly even pushes Tabson back as well. Keto, you're on your own, bud. They're telling him to fight for his life. And actually, he'll hold on to it. Yeah, has six this, man. They just spared you in a rare act of mercy. They don't go to Keto. But it's still a five on four for outsiders. Their options to either re-hit long late or go back to the B site are there. Famous patrolling lower this entire time. There's not many open avenues for big. Ooh, and that's a tag. good scout tag. Yeah, he's hit two now. Oh, and he's even lent B in the perfect moment, has Searson. The perfect moment. And on this long angle, this is the kind of spot that CS dreams of, man. Just going to get challenged from the tunnel. They're really far away. You can pepper them with scout shots as they try to move in. Outsiders, they're reasonably committed at this point in time. They might try and get catwalk. You can see James giving it a bit of a look in. But no, yeah, it feels like they have to go B with only 25 oh. seconds left. They run down CS in the mid splits now coming in. Oh, they don't know about Fabin and Carr. Going to drop the bomb. 20 seconds. They need to flush him out here, and they will. Fame on that mid lurk deals with him. Oh, no. Keto, my guy. It's a crazy taxi, and Kickert's there at the wheel. Leaving it all on the taps and save. So I said if outsiders won that first rifle v rifle round, you know, while they're playing their bonus, essentially that they could run away with this game. They've done exactly that. They're going to be up on a 12. Big now forced onto a low econ round where this A1S has to be like a, a big hero factor if they want to win it. And if they don't, that scoreline's going to read 13-6 before we have anything close to the reinvestment for Big. This is a really rough spot to be in. It's also kind of horrible because... You know, you're you just having to throw as many buys in as you can. You don't have, like, that breathing room to sit back and go, okay, you know, let's try prioritize getting the AWP for Searson. Let's get him back in the game. It's like, nope, you're going to be restricted there because you've got to have guns out every round. Yeah. So you're going to have Searson scout until you eventually win one. This could really slip and slide just through the fingers of Big before they even realize it's happened in this second half. Yeah. Oiled up, ready to go. Look at this kill distribution for Outsiders. 14 to 16 <laughs> on everyone. That's mad. Entropic-esque, very tight. Jane peeking deep down middle and behind the door. No one walking into his AWP, though. Still got the scout for Searson. Always available to buy. Very cheap. Supplemented by taps and saved M4. Scouts in mid, a position outsiders are not interested in taking. They're waiting in the long smoke. Norbert just goes right through. He's got it for free. And now outsiders can run across smoke on this A side. We've not really even seen it this game yet. Four big. Only need a couple of long takes late in the half. Crimbo's not got the gun for this. He's got to either fight from the site when they commit to the ramp or drop into spawn. They're going to tag him up. Smokes will start to come down here. Outsiders can cross in. Now, Big will have all players here ready to go. But James already found an opening kill, and it's only going to get worse. They're chilling. They got way more smokes. They are in no hurry. This is kind of forced to peek this. He has to, and he might die, but it's his only option. James at Platt. He's going to hit the tag. Right. Oh, he gets hit right Ooh. back. Responsive kill. The smokes are down. Searson firing off pot shots. More tags. Any finishes. Tabson needs to provide. The spray looked good, Ooh. and he recovers for a double. Still does flip dirty. Down to 10. Only pistols left up, but there's a chance. Yeah, Tabson might have done enough there, right? Him and Searson combining for all this damage leaves it now to Favre and Keto to finish what they started. Smoked on short, but Keto's wrapping long. And they get in deep before they know oh, about him. Massive. Might have this kill. Dead to no. right, but Kicker's got their back. Fabin oh. runs the smoke on 
one short and lights them up with the CZ right as their attention's peeled away to Long. He makes that run through the smoke cap and Gob's trying to get everyone pumped up after that win. He knows that you don't get many opportunities like this. You don't get many chances to capitalize on these eco round wins so late in the game. So he's trying to make sure the big really understand the task they've just accomplished here. This is a, a, a big step in the right direction if they do want to turn this map around. Yeah, unfortunately for them, the AWP was all the way back here at Platt when it was dropped. So Famine didn't want to risk the uh, run long run back defuse strat with no kit but that's another eco uh, win for big in this game right there very effective with the pistols great damage from both the uh, you know the a1s and also sis and scout which found that opening kill at least for big drop the awp the cover player that would have been there to win the round in the post plant stress we've not really had any like spawn boosts to peek down middle Sure, you can play that angle James just did. It's safe. You can catch a player jumping or peeking from the back of mid, but no actual fights down into CT. Here's a boost, Sisson. Thrown up on over. The fight lower, but Molotovs come from the T side. They're anxious that there may be big players inbound. Double Molly and lower shows some fear, but it's also methodical. Still, they can't clear Sisson without fighting him. Good flash to do it from top middle. Sisson. Can't do or say much about that. He'll respond with a nade and give them the control down B. Outsiders might just feign the cat take and go back into this B drop again. Kick is spotted. Force Tabson's reposition. It's defaulting right now. It's pushing big back into their bomb sites. More nades in spawn for Tabson. Shall forever be known as the Alexi B. But he's not in a hurry to get them down. Outside has gone quiet yet again. Ooh, this could be a biggie. Not bad at all. That's a lovely nade, isn't it? You don't you don't complain about that one. James, super oh. injured, super wounded Hello. kicker. Trying to accelerate this A play. Really sell this fake, hoping it's gonna draw rotates away from the B side, but it hasn't. They haven't fallen for it. Still oh. two here, but they're gone in an instant. There's just so much firepower. There's so much entry power on this outsider's team. It's, yeah. it's so hard to get through. But isn't that funny? Because that's like the pole, like that's not yeah. really what you used to think when you thought Jay and It was just your kinder. Yeah. He would get you the five on three, and then he would die, and you'd all just sit exactly. back and wait. So it's one of these things where I think, you know, it, it, it's why this team is super excited with the changes because I think you still have a lot of talent here. you still have a lot of potential in these players maybe not as realized as the old roster right but there's a lot of potential and so it, it's also like a very very different set of players and so it's going to be down to Jame to adapt his system to work within what these guys are most comfortable yeah. doing right and he does just have a lot more players who like to be involved in gunfights who want a bit more room to work with here's some opening kill stats right Jame 3-0 and oh, uh... Uh, Norbert three and one, uh, two and one rather, and Kickert six and zero. He's been at the <laughs> front of every fight in this game. Crazy man, I, you know when you're having a six and oh, 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 six and oh opening kind of day. Sorry, it's a bit yeah. of a hard one. Uh, you're having a very very good day. Kickert's feeling borderline untouchable. If that's how his opening fights are going. And now big, you know, they win that eco, they celebrate for a second, they get into a gun round and they get eviscerated. Back to pistols once more. Jamie even hit that cross shot through the door onto Keto. Tucked in mid with Searson with two pistols. Not pretty. Ah, you know, big, they won rounds like this, but this one's a tough ask. Outsiders. Trade utility on short. No one throwing away a pick. They're going to group back to this B site. Lee Kicker alone to fake out Catwalk. He throws more Molotovs to stall out that aggressive smoke push. Flash or smoke goes into the B site. Flash through the roof. Fathom with a scout. They're running him down. Hits a tag. Keto finishes. But they're climbing up and over the smoke. And Fame's got a double. Almost three. Stolen by Flit. This site quit oh for my Big God. as everyone gets headshot. Dude, it's so wild. Like, I don't know, man. Outsiders, they... they, they... They try to misdirect big occasionally. 
normally big haven't fallen for it doesn't matter they all die in some like horrific you know blaze of glory over at b in those rounds that one there they walk into this kind of like staggered triple setup just completely decimate it it's craziness the, the rounds are ending so decisively even when the plan isn't going according to plan for outsiders the individuals are enough to keep it going and they all seem to be on the same page this is a very, very convincing looking outsiders to open up. And it seems like they've caught big sleeping at the wheel. Might have been a good start for a couple of key individuals here, right? Might have Hakito looking good to open. Tabson's given us some nice moments. But it might all be on de falling on deaf ears here, Hugo. Yeah. And this is a very open group as well. I think it's worth remembering. You know, we have... Uh, phase, okay, sure, solidified number one, at least they should be. G2 should be that second team, but again, you know, teething issues. It's Pro League, game they have a weird it's, relationship they went with and Pro five League. last yeah. season, didn't they? Obviously with some caveats, with some uh, electives late to the tournament. Uh, you know, it's uncertain for G2, but I'm willing to give them the benefit of the doubt. Despite that, for the win, coming in as, you know, five months ago, they were 150th in the world. You know, they're very new to this level. And then we have MIBR with a new player, Outsiders with some time off, big, uncertain as well as their current form. It's all over the place, Harry. It's very open, especially for that third spot. So, you know, opening strong for Outsiders, that could be massive for them here. They found Keto in middle with a flash peak. Perhaps they're gonna have to smoke off mid, but they still climb up Cat. James doesn't even go back for that fight. He just commits. This is gonna be an early hit into that A site for Outsiders. Yeah, and big man, M much to their kind of dismay, they've aggro pushed long. That's left a big gap to be exploited here and get outsiders into A. Now, usually you could say, well, not the end of the world. You group, you play retake, but when you're already a man down, grouping and trying to play the 4v5 is awful. Okay, you, know, you it's should like, save. It's like trying to decide, do I eat my right hand or my left hand? Like, it still sucks. Left you're hand. still eating a hand at the end of the day, and it's still your own. They're going to look for a way back in up big through pick. CT. That 4v4 equalizes huge, but can they do good on capitalizing on it? Does, and most likely, Flit and Fame just tear through the retaking players. And Fabin's left saving the AWP, but even then, that's not certain. He's oh, going to get nice. run down in CT. Yeah, that just shows a desperation, bigger feeling, going for that retake in a four on five. I mean, they get that opening kill, but no kit anyway. P p out of position, AWP in spawn, I mean... There was no hope in hell there for big. Outsiders, a dominant game out of them right now, and everything screams towards them shutting it out in this final round. We're going to have to go to their map pick next, and this could get even rougher for big. It's going to be Inferno, one that big haven't even been playing in recent times. Outsiders. Trying to shut this one out. Keto at B. They're just going to pump and dump this site. Sneaking in. Keto saw them. He drops a molly. Smoke for a bit of cover. Teammate with a cross. And they get sectioned off by that Molotov. Only one player actually makes it in. Nice pick for Jame behind the flame. And Norbert catches long aggression. That gives them a get out clause. If they want to take it, they can leave. Outsiders still seem committed, but sneaking back. <gasps> Norbert. You cheeky oh, bugger. Oh, Tabson's not going to check oh, it. Oh, this is. Norbert. Yeah. <laughs> That one's free. They're they're tag the on a Jane oh. and a nade to finish him off. Get out of the here. bomb might have to change its mind now, but at least Norbert secured a bit of real estate over towards A. Not in a position to spot these players crossing just yet, but he can be at a moment's notice. Searson knows that their best chance is to try and catch this bomb in mid, but they're not oh, ready for flip. Okay. That's the bomb tumbling away, and a 1v1 now. Norbert versus Favon. Bomb down and lower. This one might be decided on the back of the fight. Such a wasted opportunity for outsiders. If they just reset spawn, that's their round. Norbert was probably calling for it. He had all the room, but now his team have fallen. And he's got to finish what he started. Two kills deep. Same for Favon. Oh, he missed the timing there. He's turned around. Norbert's got the bomb. It's a robbery. And missed shots from below. Oh, Favon can't no. see him. There's no time. And he had to commit up catwalk. Favon finds the kill and wins. That was super indecisive for, uh, for outsiders. Not what we expect to see. Getting ahead of themselves has kept big in this map for now.
big decide aggression. Maybe that is the way forward. This angle's nice because the first contact will be made by Keto. Favon's anti. At any point, Favon can just hit, hit the go button. Go for it. Round that corner. Look for a fight. But if Keto doesn't win this kill, yeah, repeat, that's what Favon I was going to say. The one thing that's terrifying is like if Fame swings it wide. Fabin's just going to get shot in the side of the oh. head. Ah. Oh, instead, he yeah. spotted the close player, and they'll dismantle the double setup. All right, outsiders are exploring other options. They're getting acquainted with mid now. Even sending Flit deep through the catwalk. He's lobbing in a bit of util while Fame's still making noise in the tunnels. They do not know yet where this one's ending up. They're getting, you know, mixed signals across the map. Outsiders know for sure they're finally going to group cat though. Running low on Utah already. A couple of smokes. And they go. Molly to cut off that spawn play. Assistant's got to hit headshots with a scout. Tamsin will start it though. Bombs dropped as well. 20 seconds. This round's cooked now. Fane has a gap. He finds Tamsin. There's still two in middle though. And that bomb is out on an island. Are they even going to go for this one? 15 seconds. It certainly doesn't look like it. James out saving his orb. Fame just looking for frags. Trying to keep that money on its last legs. Four big bomb picked up. But he's just taking it back to T-spawn. And he won't even survive. Norbert hides as well. And big win a ninth round, hanging on by a thread. Oh, I get a little concerned the longer this gets dragged out, right? Because one thing I'm always going to question with this outsider squad until they kind of prove it is do they have that same resilience as the old one? I don't think it's as certain. You know, you have some kind of lesser proven pieces. Guys like Faye might not be able to go with the pressure. I know, you know, I said earlier on, uh, I think one of the things that always used to maybe hold Norbert back wasn't so much his technical skill or mechanical ability. It was more like the, the mindset. I think he's someone who's kind of suffered with tilting before. I don't know if that's still a factor, but you hope it isn't with Big trying their hand at the comeback now. I think when you're behind a girl like Jamie, you, your attitude is such a big factor. This guy's super intelligent. He has a great eye for the game. And your house is in order if you're outsiders. You've got to believe in your captain, especially when he plays such a different style of CS. So outsiders are bought in fully till the last round. Even if it heads overtime, I would still consider them the favorites. Contact B. Keto's not tucked, but James cannot find the angle until he's out tunnels. And by that point, they might not be looking. Fame checks it. What a check for Fame. At the front line, Jane falls. Fame finds a follow-up. Two headshots into this B bomb site. Outsiders have got a chance now to end this map. Yeah, B is open and with players here ready to cut uh -oh. off the rotates in mid. This could be the beginning of the end. Flit just going to retreat after getting the man advantage back in favor of outsiders. And Big trying to pick up the pace, moving up through window, attempting to get in. Fame might be low, but he puts up all the kills.